what's up guys learning with rich here in this video i'm gonna show you how to print and export your sheets to pdf so quickly i'm just going to show you how to insert first all of these um, views inside our sheet so one good thing about in revit 2023 is that you will be able to know if the view is already inserted inside the sheet because once you insert the floor plan or section or any view inside the sheet, you will not be able to reinsert that one again. So in Revit 2023, there is a new feature. You see this uh, blue box here. So if it is colored blue, that means these views are already insert or inserted inside the sheet. So you will not be able to insert it again and at least it gives you an idea if this view is already inserted inside the sheet or not. Okay, so if this one is not yet inserted, like for example the basement, so this one will become a white box or just a blank uh, box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this just to quickly show you. So I'm going to right click and then select duplicate like that. And then you will now see the difference. So if the floor plan or any view is not yet inserted inside the sheet, so this is how it looks like. So it's just a white or blank box. But once you insert that inside the sheet, you will be able to uh, see blue color in the box. All right. So now I'm going to create a sheet here. So to create a sheet, just right click and then just select a uh, new sheet. And then here you'll be able to see the title block that is loaded in your project. So if you have other title blocks created or other title block family, you just need to select load. So once you select load, it will show here. Okay, so I'm going to use this one, M project title block underscore finish. And then I'm going to select here, OK. And then here's now my new sheet here. So to insert view inside the sheet all you have to do is to drag and drop so this one just drag and drop and then after that you pick once you do that like what i have said it becomes blue now so meaning to say this is already inserted inside the sheet another way of inserting your view inside the sheet is i'm gonna undo is go to the view tab and then from the sheet composition you can select here view place view so you can click that and then here you can select the views that you want to insert inside your sheet okay so like this one here i'm going to select and then i'm going to select add view to sheet and there you go so let's say i'm going to place it somewhere here there you go then modify okay and another thing if you want to modify let's say for example this view so instead of going back to the original view, which is this one, instead of double clicking that and then modifying here. So what you can do is you can go back to the sheet and then after that, just double click or click your viewport, click that and then right click. And then you can see here the option activate view. Okay. Or you can just simply select the viewport, click that, and then you can see here, activate view. So that's it. Right? All just double click. Okay? Just double click, and then you are now inside the view. The viewport is now activated, and then you can modify from here. Okay? So any changes, of course, that you do here, it will reflect to the original view. Okay? Now, if you want to go out, the viewport just right click and then select deactivate view or deactivate the viewport okay so that's it now i'm going to show you how to print so let's say for example i'm going to open my s-2.1 okay so let's say this is what i want to print let me just delete the views that i have created so right click and then delete this one right click and then delete Okay, so this is now my S2.1. So if you want to know what are the views inside the sheet, just expand this. And then you can now see the views that is inserted inside the sheet. So now the next thing that we are going to talk about is how to print and export your sheets 
to PDF. Okay, so to do that, you can press Ctrl P on your keyboard. That's the shortcut for print. Or you can just click this icon here. So once you click that, you can see your print dialog box. So wherein you can specify here the printer that is installed in your machine. If you have a PDF writer, you'll be able to see it. By default, you have the Microsoft Print to PDF, but I'm not a fan of this. So what I do is I install this one. So this is the best PDF writer. If you are using Revit 2022 below, because in Revit 2023, there is a new feature wherein there is already a default PDF writer. So you, you don't need to install any PDF writer. But if you are using 2022 below Revit, so you just need to install this one. This is the best. No other PDF. Okay, so just use Qt PDF. Install it. So you see it's a free download. Just install this one. And then you will be able to see it from this list here. Okay. Another thing is that you also have an option here, file. So if you have 20 sheets, for example, so you can put that into a single uh, single file. Just use this option. The other one is if you want to print it separately. Okay. And once you select create separate files, you can specify here the location. You can change the location of the file or create another folder. Just use the browse button here. Now this one is disabled because currently the print range here is set to current window. Okay, so what I'm going to do is instead of using the current window, which only print my current window. So I'm going to select here uh, selected views and sheets. And then after that, you can select here select. So right now I have this print set already. So I'm going to show you how to create a print set. So I'm going to delete this one. Delete that. And then here on my filter, these are all the views that you can show here. So I'm going to uncheck this one. And then I can now see the other sheets. If ever I want to print also views not, that is not inside the sheet. Okay. So for this one, I selected all of these uh, views in the sheet. And then if I don't want to see the other views that is not checked, so I just click this button here. Just click that and then in it will hide those sheets that is not uh, selected. Okay. And another thing is that you can also use check none here like that. Okay. And then you just need to uncheck this one again and then just select again one by one. You also have an option here, check all. Okay. You can also filter it. Let's say you only want to show the sheets. So you can uncheck that, show only the sheets and then check all. There you go. So you can edit the print order. Click that one and then you can edit. This one is set to sheet number ascending. That's why it's like that. If you want to change it manually, you can select manual order and then you can just drag like that. Okay. The other one is printed by uh, browser organization. So you can select your okay. If you have a settings for that, but I don't have. So I'll just uh, select your sheet number ascending. There you go. And then I'll just select your okay. And then that's it actually. And for this set, if you're going to use this again, you're going to print this set again. You can save this. Click that. And then you can save. Let's say this is my base one uh, sheets. So I'll just select OK. And it's now set. That's my base one. So check all and then select no. OK. So select this one again, and then you can select paste one, filter it, and then check all, forget to save, and then select ah, this one, save current set. So select, save, and then just select. That's it. Okay, and then here you have the settings. You can select here the name. 
you can specify the name of your uh, print setup you can specify here the the paper size so let's say uh, a3 i'll just put it at the center and then i'll just put it on a uh, fit to page and then i'll just use default settings here and then i'll just select here okay and then you can save this setup you can put here like for example this is space one and then okay that's it so this is what you do if you have a printer here but right now i don't have printer installed in my machine i only have pdf writer okay so this is what you do so if you have a printer this is the setup that you can do now if you want to print your uh, drawings export to pdf and then you are using uh, revit 2022 so you can select here pdf microsoft print to pdf or you can use the cute pdf the one that i have shown you earlier okay revit 20, uh, 2022 below now if you want to export only your sheets to pdf and then you are using revit 2023 so this is the new feature so i'm gonna close this one so you can click this one pdf so this is already part of revit 2023 so you just click that and then this is now your pdf export so you don't have this feature in revit 2022 below okay so same uh, same option so you also have the export range the current view so when you say current view it will only print this current view if you select visible portion of current view so let's say I'll select a uh, current view okay and then I'm going to select here export so let me just let me just set up my views here okay so here right so this is the location document so this is my documents here and then here's the file name this one and then the setup is current view so for this one i'll just use a1 i'll just fit to the view uh, fit to page and then center it okay so i'm going to export this yes uh, this is my paste one And then let's see it's now here so if you click that there you go so this is now our PDF so very fast so I'll just close this one I'll just delete this all right so let's go back again to the PDF let's click that so that is your uh, current window so when you say visible portion of the current window it's like for example you only want this one so you can zoom in like that okay and then you can print again and then you can use this all right and then let's print again so visible portion of current window so let's export that and then let's go back again to our folder which is this one and there you go so that's the portion right so that's how you use that option and then the the other options there is just like this one so just select that one i already show you how to set up this one when we use the print option here so it's the same principle okay so you just print okay so same settings if you want to play around with the zoom factor you can you can use this one you can specify here the zoom the zoom factor and then you can also offset from the corner no margin and then let's say I'll just use uh, fit to page this time uh, no margin so let's see how it looks like so I'll use current view or current window and then I'm going to select export let's see how it looks like so as you can see it's all maximized our title block is maximized here okay so let me close this one then let me delete this all right so let's go back again to that tool and select that view sheets i'll just use the paste one and this is the location that's it so i'll just export all of this let's just wait it will it will come out here so very fast so if you have revit 2023 
I suggest you use this option so instead of installing other PDF uh, writer. Okay. There you go. So it's now here. So let me just open this. Just close this warning. Okay, just close that warning. Don't worry about that warning. So just close that. Let's open up. And there you have it. So there's now your project. Right? Okay, and there you have it. So that's how you uh, set up your print. That's how you print. And that's then that's how you uh, export your drawings to PDF using this new feature of Revit 2023. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.